Little India, we're going to have lunch at this place that's been open since 1974. It's called the Banana Leaf. You hungry? I'm very hungry. I love Indian food, so <laughs> perfect spot. The man who started this restaurant was really inspired by the Apollo 11 space mission. And his vision for his restaurant and his hope was that the business would be as successful as a rocket. And I think it's fair to say it has had great success. It's been here now since 1974. And as you can tell by all the sounds from around me, all of the clinking of dishes, people are loving this many, many years later. I ordered a mango lassi. I haven't had any yet. Oh God, so good. <laughs> properties from this as well because when you put something like hot rice onto the banana leaf, some of the antioxidants in the banana leaf actually leach into the food, so it's extra good for you. A veritable feast has arrived spread over our entire table. We've got rice, of course, cabbage, eggplant, black paneer, tangerine chicken, naan, a cauliflower dish, papadong, and then their signature dish is a fish head curry made with red snapper. You couldn't resist getting some dessert, of course to cool down even more. This is kofi ice cream. It's served in a mud pot. I'm told that it's never served in a plastic container. It has to come in this kind of pot. It's made of milk and this is saffron flavored. We got another one so that we could try too. This is pistachio. You have to really commit to getting this out with this pot. Wow, there's so many flavors. <laughs> mm. So different. Sorry, I just feel like it's sort of revealing more flavors as it kind of sits on your tongue. Super cool, lots of bits, which I love. Very full of flavor. And some crunchy nuts in there too. Good too. Very creamy. But I prefer the saffron. First love. <laughs> Look at that big nut in there. Strolling around Little India now, and this is such a cool part of Singapore. It used to be uh, also a residential area, and there are lots of shop houses here where they had the shop on the main floor and then they'd live on the second floor. But now this is a commercial area. You find lots of restaurants, of course, which we've just experienced, and also a lot of nice shops. So many colors. Mm -hmm. We just walked past a gorgeous looking temple. Oh. Spectacular. <laughs> it's especially great for finding fruits and vegetables 
and spices that we'd use in Indian cooking. You can hear the great music coming out of the shops here. A lot of bright colors. So many colors. Absolutely vibrant area. You kind of smell the spices in the air. It's just a, a treat for the senses, really. <laughs> My favorite part walking around here is seeing all of these shop houses and thinking about what this area would have been like when people were living upstairs above their shops. Little India has been here in this location in Singapore since the 1800s and at that time there was a big cattle trade, there was brick making and there was even a race course for horses. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did, and remember to subscribe to our channel for lots more travel adventures. Check out our other Singapore videos to see more about the best things to see and do, where to eat, where to stay, where to shop, and the top places to go at night. I love reading your comments, so please say hello down below and let me know which of the foods we tried look best to you. Also, so curious about which ice cream flavor you think sounds best since we were split. Is it saffron or pistachio? We'd love for you to share the video with your friends and family as well and really appreciate your support. You can also follow me over on Instagram where I post lots more content as well as on Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching and see you in our next video.